Okay, good evening to all of you. Um, we are uh, going to start our session on local anesthetic and counter irritant. Is my voice clear and audible?
<laughs> okay in between connection was interrupted so we are again live okay now i think my voice and uh, powerpoint all everything will be clear to you so please inform to other started our session we have started our sessions so uh, local anesthetics and counter irritant let me select the pointer we have discussed uh, some uh, aspects of this local anesthetic and counter irritant uh, if you remember our topic one of the topic was general anesthesia so there is between general anesthesia yeah we have discussed this difference also i will be revising here as it is general so whole cns whole cns is site of action here in case of the local anesthesia it is only locally where we are going to have the surgeries suppose over the hand or the surgery is over the hand so local anesthesia will be only working over the hand so site of action in general anesthesia it is cns in peripheral now remember these comparative features i will ask in question again so area involved in case of the general anesthesia it is whole body while affected area suppose hand is there where surgery is going to there so yeah only over the localized part that is over the hand let me check again that we are live or not because connection was unstable previously okay fine so <clears throat> consciousness in case of the general anesthesia it will be lost because it is affecting brain and spinal cord so consciousness in general anesthesia is lost while here patient is conscious in case of the local anesthesia will only over the hand or over the many times this uh, hernia operation it is also being carried out in local anesthesia so here consciousness it is not altered unaltered means consciousness is not lost care of vital necessary it is essential in case of the general anesthesia because in general anesthesia respiratory function as well as cardiac function cardiovascular function they are being also impaired so here anesthetics need to anesthetic carry, carry out the care of vital function like for respiration they have to give you the connection seems to be unstable but i think again i am live now okay so we were discussing about the difference between local and general anesthesia so here in case of the poor health patient general anesthesia so 
anesthetic is always carry out uh, uh, test of the vital function as well as overall health assessment if it is risky it cannot be given to the poor health person while in case of the local anesthesia it is safer in case of uh, general anesthesia use in non cooperative patient it is possible patient who is uh, having some mental illness patient is non cooperative then we can give general anesthesia sedated while in case of the local anesthesia surgery while local anesthesia it cannot be preserved preferred for the major surgery it is used only for minor surgery so in minor surgery only it is in minor surgery only local anesthesia is preferred so have a look at this uh, difference between local anesthesia and general anesthesia for a while and red box also and only 14 students are online friends that our session has been started i also wish to carry out uh, uh, revision from now onwards revision lecture i think most of the part of the syllabus we have covered and i have got the list of some of the topics few topics only for which uh, you want this topic to be taken as lecture and apart from this uh, for all i am also wish to carrying out the revision lecture as, as far as you can send me apart from this topic which i have received uh, please uh, check the paper previous and list of the remaining in between uh, i feel that uh, internet connection is unstable but uh, we will continue the session so be online so what i was telling that uh, you can give me the list of the remaining topic as per you you can go through the syllabus you can go through the question papers and uh, you can give me directly or to your uh, class coordinator you can send me the list of the remaining topic <clears throat> now i think it may be clear some of the students are saying that the voice is not clear but i think now it may be clear now the voice may be clear in between in in between when there was interruption in connection voice may be dropping but now is it not clear read down the difference between general and yes i am getting reply that the voice is clear some of the students saying yes some students say no it seems to be overall the connectivity problem in area okay let uh, let me start the session and you can read if it is not clear checking this so this local reversibly block the impulse conduction local anesthesia it will work for some duration of the action so after the effect of this impulse conduction after the effect of this local anesthesia it has gone it is reversible again sensation and motor activity starts in that area so it will provide only transient loss of sensation so sensation loss is only transient for short duration of the time and it is useful for performing minor surgery local anesthesia is useful for performing minor surgery for a hand surgery over the 
foot or the legs or the fingers or uh, hernia surgery hydrocele surgery these are also considered as the it will not lose consciousness so there is neither uh, causing the loss of the consciousness nor need proper maintenance nor need the proper maintenance of the vital function during the surgery that we have already discussed so first local anesthetic first local anesthetic was cocaine and uh, no need to remember the name of the scientist just remember first local anesthetic it is cocaine so there are two types of the local anesthetic amide local anesthetic and ester local anesthetic amide local anesthetic and ester local anesthetic is my voice clear now is my voice clear now write down in chat box and i am going to speak so amide local anesthetic they are more intense and longer lasting anesthesia ester are less intense and short duration and local anesthesia also two part amide and ester amide is more powerful ester are less intense less powerful so short duration of the action more intense more duration of the action they bind to alpha 1 glycoprotein in plasma they are not hydrolyzed by plasma plasma esterase while they are hydrolyzed by plasma esterase so that is another difference they are not hydrolyzed amide are not hydrolyzed by plasma esterase ester are hydrolyzed by plasma esterase they rarely cause hypersensitivity and here there is higher risk of hypersensitivity so in ester there of hypersensitivity classification there are longer acting and intermediate acting intermediate acting in case of the amide first of all amide type so some of the drugs you can remember bupivacaine bupivacaine levobupivacaine then uh, you can remember this ropivacaine ropivacaine so name similar like cocaine so here you can see everywhere cocaine like cocaine cocaine the exit not exactly cocaine but the suffix cane is there cane suffix cane you can remember this cane as a common bupivacaine levobupivacaine ropivacaine dibucaine you can also remember intermediate acting most commonly lidocaine or another name it is lignocaine it can be also lignocaine both are similar lignocaine or lidocaine then mepivacaine prilocaine this lignocaine is most commonly used local anesthetic most commonly again lignocaine is there in anti arrhythmic drug it is a part of anti arrhythmic drug ester type longer acting here are tetracaine intermediate acting cocaine and shorter acting are procaine chlorprocaine benzocaine again i repeat ester type longer acting tetracaine intermediate acting cocaine short acting procaine chlorprocaine and benzocaine some miscellaneous type no need to remember okay write, write down in chat box i am not going to use the time write down in chat box what the name of the local anesthetic do you remember local anesthetic just we have discussed write down in chat box which of them do you remember it will be interesting which of these na names do you remember write down in chat box please has other students only 18 20 students are there online to join the session which local anesthetic just we have discussed name one or two only which of them do you remember yes i am getting reply cocaine lidocaine lidocaine procaine lidocaine bupivacaine okay i am getting reply from i must almost all the student bupivacaine tetracaine very good yes very good so our previous question remember our previous question uh, we have discussed difference between general and local anesthetics so whatever difference do you remember write down in chat box difference between general anesthetic and local anesthetic so among them whatever you remember write down in chat box some students bupivacaine dubicaine then etodicaine very good procaine i think you may have taken the screenshot and you are writing here general anesthetic work on cns and local work on peripheral now very good general cns on
again it was connection problem i don't know why it is happening today previously never. so write down difference between general and local anesthetic i'm waiting for reply of other students also yes site of action in general cns local in peripheral yes in general consciousness will be lost in local it will be unaltered then other difference other difference care of vital function is necessary in general anesthesia yes very good other difference yes general preferred for minor major surgery local for minor surgery very good okay so we are moving further moving forward general for major local for minor yes okay so now mechanism of action of this local anesthetic local anesthetic block no conduction no conduction by decreasing entry of sodium ions during the upstroke of the axon potential you are now expert of this nerve muscle conduction so here in nerve muscle conduction by blocking or by decreasing the entry of the sodium ion in axon potential channel uh, here nerve conduction is blocked so that sensation sensory as well as motor function it will be lost in that part suppose over the finger or the or the hand we want to have the minor surgery so if we are applying local anesthesia over the hand so the nerve function will be blocked by decreasing the entry of sodium ion in that part as the concentration of the local anesthesia is increased the rate of action potential concentration is increased the rate of action potential and maximum depolarization decrease causing slowing of the conduction so conduction is slowed and now is blocked finally there is local depolarization which helps to reach the threshold potential and conduction block ensures so basically remember this sodium ion by decreasing the entry of the sodium ion in nerve uh, during the action potential conduction block will be achieved effect of local uh, effect on peripheral uh, now on, on local anesthesia it is not effect of ph local anesthesia is strongly ph dependent so being more at alkaline ph effect of ph so in alkaline ph local anesthetic action will be more and less in acidic ph remember this difference in alkaline ph anesthesia local anesthesia action is more and less in acidic ph local anesthesia remain partly ionized and partly unionized at physiological ph no need to remember this unionized form is needed for its diffusion through exon membrane on ionized form is needed for diffusion through exon membrane just you can remember this alkaline ph more activity less activity at acidic ph no need to go through this <clears throat> prolongation of action by vasoconstrictor yes very important point in case of the local anesthesia we have seen the mechanism of the local anesthesia that it uh, slow down the conduction uh, it block the conduction by decreasing the entry of the sodium ion now if we want to prolong the action if we want to increase the duration of the action of the local anesthesia along with the local anesthesia some vasoconstrictor agent may be mixed so for example adrenaline adrenaline plus lignocaine lignocaine is vasoconstrictor lignocaine is local anesthetic and adrenaline is vasoconstrictor so because of the vasoconstrictor vasoconstriction uh, it will be having the longer duration of the action wow so anything that delays the absorption of the local anesthesia into circulation will prolong its section and reduce its systemic toxicity again i repeat so local so vasoconstrictor here that delay the absorption of local anesthesia into circulation because of as you know that vasoconstriction here in vasoconstriction is achieved achieved so because of vasoconstriction local anesthesia absorption will be decreased so local anesthetic agent will be working for more longer duration of the time over the hand i think you are understanding again i repeat if we give adrenaline along with the lignocaine so because of the vasoconstrictor action here in this part 
absorption of the local anesthetic it will decrease so that local anesthetic will be serving for more duration it will be having a concentration for more duration so that action will be prolonged so adrenaline is most commonly used and it prolongs the duration of the local anesthetic so when you may be seeing some ampules which is having the combination of the adrenaline plus zygnocaine that is because of this action i hope you understood red down and jet box have you understood it or not okay. i think you have understood this part local anesthetic prolongation of the action of the local anesthetic by mixing it with vasoconstrictor did you understand or not so write down what did you understand what it down in chat box while we are discussing further again so no need to discuss about pharmacokinetic uses and types of the local anesthesia so first use is a topical anesthesia topical remember this word is not topic right this this is topical you know that topical is anything which is applied to any surface suppose over the skin or over the eyes that is topical so anesthesia previously you know that uh, uh, the doctor of anesthetist uh, they were called as in gujarati topi sungalwana topi sungalwana doctor so there is nothing like that it, they, all the anesthesia are injectable there is also in general anesthesia we have discussed that uh, gaseous anesthesia are also there but most commonly this injectable are used so topical anesthesia over the mucous membrane or over the damaged skin wound or bone decrease the pain this anesthesia is used to decrease the pain over the damaged skin wound or bone it can facilitate endoscopic procedure the procedure which use endoscopic endoscope so to reduce the pain of the hemorrhoid as well as anal fissure suppose proctoscope 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 is a type of endoscope so in case of the hemorrhoid hemorrhoid is piles or fissure for examination of the piles or fissure proctoscope is to be inserted in anal region so first in local anesthesia is given i mean to say this topical type of the local anesthesia is given so it will decrease the pain over that part okay. over procedureing the surgeries over the eye topical anesthesia can be given any procedure over the eye topical anesthesia is given so uh, for glaucoma if we want to measure the eye pressure by tonometry so this topical anesthesia is first given over the eye in form of the eye drops and then tonometer is applied over the eye so it will decrease the pain so for topical anesthesia tetracaine lignocaine benzocaine these are the commonly used uh, local anesthesia which is used for topical part so that is first use is topical then second is infiltration anesthesia so here dilute solution of local anesthetic is injected under the skin to reach sensory nerve terminal so here under the skin diluted solution is injected infiltration is used for minor surgical procedure like incision or excision so having any incision incise over any skin or for excision so two different words are there incision is having just cut over the skin and excision is removing that part of the uh, body removing that part of the area small part of the area that is excision so proper uh, ligno can both are similar upv can procaine this local anesthesia are used then another is field block or conduction block anesthesia remember this use is well we have discussed about topical anesthesia infiltration anesthesia conduction block anesthesia now field block so local anesthesia so you can understand from the name just remember this name and you can understand is local anesthesia is injected subcutaneously previous uh, mark the difference between this conduction block and this infiltration block in infiltration block under skin local anesthesia is injected in this conduction block subcutaneously it is injected in surrounding the area of the nerve so that all over the nerve coming into particular field is block that is conduction block so again i repeat local anesthetic is injected subcutaneously in surrounding area of the nerve so the area which is under this nerve it may be in particular field they are block then nerve block nerve block it is in nerve trunk 
So around the low trunk, localized is injected. It is causing nerve block. It lasts longer than the field block. Or and pressure that block the anesthesia, central nerve block anesthesia, epidural block anesthesia, and spinal block anesthesia. In central nerve, epidural block and spinal block anesthesia. Remember these names. So, epidural block it is also referred as peridural anesthesia or peridural block, epidural or peridural, both are similar. So, here what is done injecting local anesthetic in lumbar, thoracic or cervical region so remember this this is the type of the central now so central now central region block so here in epidural block either over the lumbar or thoracic or cervical region block is given caudal block is also given in epidural block but it is in caudal region so any of the region most commonly in lumbar region this block is given epidural block is given then spinal block anesthesia, it is also referred as subarachnoid or intrathecal block. And from the name of the name, this region itself is blocked. Subarachnoid block or intrathecal block. It is pro uh, produced by injecting a suitable local anesthesia in spinal subarachnoid space. As you know that there is subarachnoid space. This is the basic anatomy that you must be knowing. Subarachnoid space between L2 and L3 or between L3 and L4. L is lumbar vertebrae. Uh, anesthetize the lower abdominal. So, this anesthetize because of this spinal block only lower abdomen and hand limbs, that is lower limbs, these are only anesthetized. Their consciousness will be and lower limbs are blocked even if they're the consciousness it is preserved intravenous regional anesthesia it is also known as burst block remember it is intravenous regional anesthesia so given anesthetic is given by intravenous route but only region of the body it will be anesthetized and it is burst block it is used for mainly upper limb or for orthopedic procedure upper limb or for orthopedic procedure so till now we have discussed about various block so among them, which type, which block do you remember? Write down in chat box. We have discussed different blocks. So which block do you remember from all of this? From all of this, we have discussed various blocks, various types of the anesthesia. This all considered as various blocks. So which of them do you remember? Write down in chat box. Then we are going to see about adverse effects. Yes, field block, now block. Okay. I want reply from all the students. Topical anesthesia, epidural and spinal block. Very good. So, again, just so topical anesthesia or the skin mucous membrane or bone infiltration anesthesia. That is local anesthetic injected under the skin for excision or incision, then conduction block or field block subcutaneously, then nerve block around the trunk, around the nerve trunk, epidural block anesthesia in case of the central nerve, epidural block and spinal block. So epidural block, it is peridural also, lumbar or thoracic or cervical region or epid discordal region, the spinal block, it is in subarachnoid or intrathecal region in lumbar between L2 and L3 or L3 and L4. It will anesthetize lower abdomen and hind limbs. And intravenous regional anesthesia is for upper limb and for orthopedic procedure. Now, adverse effect. So, first of all, in central nervous system, what are the adverse effects? Low dose can lead to tongue numbness. So, loss of sensation of the over the tongue, tongue will be numbed. 
ખોટી પડી જાય નમનેસ સ્લીપીનેસ પેશન્ટ ફીલ સ્લીપીનેસ ધેટ ઇઝ ઓલમોસ્ટ વી વોન્ટ માઇલ્ડ હેડેક બીકોઝ યા માઇલ્ડ હેડેક હેડેક માથું ભારે ભારે લાગે વિઝ્યુઅલ એન્ડ ઓડિટરી ડિસ્ટર્બન્સીસ બ્લરિંગ ઓફ વિઝન ધેન ધેન ડિક્રીઝ ઇન હિયરિંગ કેપેસિટી સો વિઝ્યુઅલ એન્ડ ઓડિટરી ડિસ્ટર્બન્સ હાયર કોન્સન્ટ્રેશન વિલ લીડ ટુ nystagmus you know that nystagmus that is irregular eye movement muscular twitching muscular twitching profound tna stimulation may lead to convulsion also so from low dose higher concentration and from higher dose there can be convulsion also then in cardiovascular system primary site of the action is myocardium it is myocardium where it decrease excitability conduction and force of contraction so because of that you know that decreasing excitability and conduction there will be bradycardia bradycardia and force of contraction also decrease so there will be decrease in cardiac output except cocaine most local anesthesia produce hypotension why hypotension is produced because of this action because of the action on the cardiac that is because of decrease in cardiac output hypotension is produced bupi we can can cause ventricular tachycardia and fibrillation so except other drugs which are causing decrease in cardiac output we can can Okay, we are back again. Then on action on neuromuscular junction. So in large dose, local anesthesia block neuromuscular transmission. and in the muscle or i think that part is remaining i will take later on also in result of the blockage of the nicotine receptor in ion channel so neuromuscular junction transmission will be in large dose it will it will block the transmission of the neuromuscular junction so that is all about the local anesthesia we have discussed adverse effect write down the adverse effect that you remember we have discussed adverse effect of local anesthesia write down in chat box which adverse effect among but then we will take on so which adverse effect you remember we have discussed about adverse effect recently 
adverse effect of local anesthesia recently which of them do you remember I am waiting for your reply. Which adverse effect of local anesthesia you remember? Yes, bradycardia, hypotension, convulsion, vision and audible disturbance, muscular dizziness, rapid, then uh, tongue numbness, bradycardia, sleepiness, mild headache. Very good. Yes. Except today, I think uh, you are fond of this online class. You are not replying in uh, physical class. You are replying nicely in online class. Except today, if we consider the connection and stability. All the days, our connection and everything was good. So now we are discussing counter irritant. Yes, blurring of vision, counter irritant. Okay, so irritant, definition of the counter irritant, irritant which produce a remote effect which tend to relieve pain and inflammation in deeper organs. So counter irritants are mostly used for relieving pain and inflammation in deeper organ. These are counter irritant. So irritant, it will cause irritation, irritation but which produce the remote effect and which tend to relieve the pain and inflammation in deeper organs are counter irritant. So mechanism of counter irritant the area of the skin supplied by nerve from the same segment as deeper organ from which pain impulse are coming, the cutaneous impulse obscure the deep sensation. So just simplifying I am this. Some of area of the skin and deeper organ, they, may, they are supplied by same segment of the nerve. They are supplied by same segment of the nerve. That is the basic anatomy and physiology. Suppose over the over the abdominal area or over the hands, the so skin is supplied by the same segment as the deeper part, deeper muscle is supplied. So the using this anatomy and physiology, we are applying the uh, irritant, I mean, it is a counter irritant over the skin. So because of the same segment, the effect of the deeper part of the tissue will be also blocked because same segment is supplied by skin as well as deeper organ. So generally it is massage, this counter irritant and massage to relieve the uh, headache. So they are used for headache or to relieve the muscular pain like torticollis, like backache, sprain, joint pain or colic, abdominal colic. So this counter irritant are used to relieve the headache, muscular pain, then torticollis, backache, sprain, joint pain and colics. So example of this counter irritant. Volatile oils, there are these are essential oil, turpentine oil. It is used as counter and form of the lip.
so back again <coughs> only last slide is there then mustard seed mustard seed these are also called as ruby fission and counter irritant capsicum and this powerful irritant but it is hot in test included in some counter irritant preparation capsicum then you these are the ex examples six paper wix paper of iodex amrutanjan capsigil d volini gel so wix paper is containing menthol camphor and this thymol turpentine oil uh, iodex is containing methyl salicylate so iodex methyl salicylate amrutanjan eucalyptus oil camphor thymol menthol the capsigium it is containing capsaicin then methyl salicylate menthol camphor volini gel that is very famous you may have used this it is containing this uh, diclofenac diclofenac is local it is nsaids you know that is nsaid and along with counter irritant like methyl salicylate like and this linseed oil menthol so these are example you can remember again wix paper of iodex amrutanjan capsigil d or volini gel so that is all about local anesthetic and counter irritant so again because of the uh, instability of this and uh, network today you may have faced some problems but we have completed this local anesthetic and this counter irritant and we will be continuing our classes even if uh, syllabus from my side uh, majority it is over uh, and uh, our lecture slots are also over but i will be continuing this revision as well as you can message me first of all whatever the topic you want and that i will be get, i will be taking first that topic which are may be remaining from your as a part of the syllabus that i will be taking uh, in next week onwards or we will meet make and meet tomorrow also we can meet tomorrow also if you are willing please message me we can meet tomorrow also you can message in whatsapp also so tomorrow at what time is it okay tomorrow 10 am can we meet again tomorrow 10 pm 10 am nobody are interested for lecture okay whatever you decide you can suppose thank you